Hey, hope everybody is doing well on this July 4th as we celebrate our Independence Day. As I was thinking about the day coming and, and this morning as I woke up, I really was reminded of Galatians 5 verse 1 when Paul says, It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Don't go back to the yoke of slavery any longer. See, as Americans, we celebrate Independence Day as independence from the British, right? We, we, we declared our independence. We fought this war for an independence. Now, was it a perfect independence? No, did we still have work to do on our independence? Yes, we did. We still had to right some wrongs in, in, in our own independence. And we saw that happen through the Civil War, through the Civil Rights Act, through a lot of those things. But when we look at our freedom in Christ, and I was contrasting America's freedom and the things we've, we've had to go through to get that, to keep that, and there's a lot of fight and a lot of things that have had to happen, a lot of ongoing struggle. But here's the beautiful thing. The freedom that we have in Christ, the freedom that Christ has given you, what Paul is saying, it was for freedom that Christ set you free. Don't go back to this yoke of slavery. We don't have to work for our freedom anymore because Christ has set us free spiritually. Once Christ has set us free, he has won. Check this out. This is really cool. You got to check this out. When Jesus died on that cross, when he rose from that grave, when he ascended to the Father, that secured your freedom. So when you place your faith in Jesus Christ, your freedom is secure. And the only way you ever go back to living in the slavery of sin is for you to willingly walk back to Egypt. You understand? See, we as Americans, we have to continually struggle for our freedom. We continually elect people. We fight wars to protect our freedom. But in Christ, our freedom is eternal. So I want to encourage you, beloved, don't go back into walking in the slavery of sin, but use the freedom Christ has won you to live a life of godly flourishing for your good and his glory. God bless. Have a happy and safe Independence Day. Looking to see you next Sunday. God bless.